Right, in this video we're going to actually solve some quadratic equations. And the general form for a quadratic equation is this. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Where a, b and c are constants. So in this video we're going to talk about one method of solving them which is called factorising. And we did factorising in an earlier video. If you can remember, say we've got some function like... factor it into two brackets so that when we multiply it out we get that so that's what factorizing is and you can watch the factorizing video again if you need to be reminded about that so let's do some examples here so first I'm going to factorize this so let's factorize this to x plus 4 x plus 3. So remember to factorise you need to get an x and an x to make this. You need to have two numbers here that add to make this coefficient of x and two numbers that multiply to make this. So now what we'll do is we'll solve each of these equations separately. So we've got x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 4 is equal to 0. So x could be minus 3, if that one's 0, or x could be minus 4. Okay, so we'll get two solutions. Like I talked about in the last video, that you can actually get two solutions to a quadratic equation. So now let's solve another one. Again, we're going to factorise. That's what this one factorises to here. So we'll solve each equation separately. If x plus 4 is equal to 0, then x equals minus 4. And if x minus 5 equals 0, then x equals 5. So again, for this one, we'll get another two solutions. And we've got x equals minus 4 and x equals 5. Right, next one here. I'm going to factorise this one as well. This is a slightly harder example. And that actually factorises 2x two, two 3x plus 3 and 7. Okay, that's what that factorises to. So what we'll do is we'll solve each equation separately. So I get 2x plus 3 equals 0. And I've got 3x plus 7 equals 0. So I can solve them. 2x equals minus 3. 3x equals minus 7. And then obviously divide both sides for these equations. So I'm dividing both sides by 2. If I divide this by 2, I get that. If I divide this by 2, I get that. So there's only two solutions. You can rewrite them as mixed numbers if you like, but we'll just leave them like that because it doesn't matter, basically. So next one here. We've got only one factor we can take out here because this isn't a quadratic. We'll just have two terms. Notice we'll have no constant like we do up here in the general one. So I look for a factor. I say that 7x is a factor here. And to multiply it to get that. I need to multiply that by x, I need to multiply this one by 3. So I've got for this one 7x is 0, or x plus 3 equals 0. So if that's true, then x equals 0, or if that's true, x equals minus 3. 
So we've got another two solutions for that one. Right. And sometimes we've got a special equation where we can just use a square, square root property. So what we do here is I've got x squared equals 25. I simply square root both sides. Now notice that we've got two solutions here because minus 5 squared is 25 and also 5 squared is 25. So it can be plus or minus 5, sorry, not root 5. So there you go, you get two solutions for that. Next one. Like a normal linear equation, I do this. I've got two sides, I square root both sides. So I've got x is equal to the square root of 36, so x equals plus or minus 6. Okay. Right, next one here, I can move the 8 to the other side, so I get 2x squared is equal to 8, I can divide both sides by 2, so I get x squared is equal to 4, and I square root both sides, I get x is equal to plus or minus 2. Now because you know you can't divide by 0, and x can be 0 because it's a variable, you need to check also that 0 isn't a solution. Okay, I'll explain that in another earlier or later video. This one here. Now, this factorises to the same thing. Times the same thing. So actually get that squared because we've got the same vacuum twice. And because we've got x plus 4 equals 0, I solve that and I get x is equal to minus 4. And because he had above the same bracket, I only get one solution. And you've seen in the other video that that can actually happen. So, we can't factorise all equations. So we're going to learn about two of our methods later on. One's called completing the square. And the other one's called the quadratic formula. Okay, so we're going to learn how to solve the rest next time. So that's the first method for solving quadratic equations.